So this is one of these articles here about noise. New, New York City has a, a 311 line you can call. Usually people call to complain about things like uh, people playing loud music, quality of life stuff. I've called it. The guy next door to me playing loud music at 3 in the morning. Uh, can't sleep. Even the police called me and spoke to me. And talked them up. Anyway, this one is about sex. Complaints of New Yorkers. Noisy sex arising. So this is... I wasn't really aware of this. Look at all these people here. This is Manhattan, of course. Would you really like to live in a city like <laughs> like this? I mean, if you live here, right? Look at all these all these people. By the time you get home, wherever that may be, you probably won't have enough energy to make a noise late at night. A wave of sex mayhem has apparently been sweeping New York City, prompting residents to lodge an increasing number of noise complaints to a government hotline. New York is no stranger to noise complaints. New Yorkers file as many as 75,000 a month. But new 311 call data obtained by Patch has revealed that many recent complaints arise from those disturbed by their neighbors late night ventures. From February 19, February 21 to February 9, February this year, and this year of course is 2022, the website reported the official helpline received 277 complaints about noisy sex. Queens produced the most with 103. Manhattan came second with 66, while Brooklyn produced 55. I live in Brooklyn. The Bronx 48. Wow. Uh, you look at that. 48 and 55 are just seven apart. Brooklyn is way, way bigger than the Bronx. So. <laughs> What does that tell you? That tells you there's a lot more sex noise in uh, Brooklyn per capita per person. If you look at it, if you if you use um, a medical formula, and Staten Island four. Now that's kind of uh, let me just throw this in here. I don't want to be political, but I guess I have to. Staten Island is. The one borough in New York City that goes Republican, you know, like uh, Republican congressman, Republican city council, and so forth, voted heavily for um, for uh, Donald Trump. So apparently, Staten Island only four noise complaints. Either people are not having sex in, in Staten Island or they mostly live in, <laughs> in their own homes. You know, so that means there's nobody above them or below them to make noise. Mm -hmm. But that's not true because I've been over there. I used to work over there many years ago. While it's true there, people own their own homes. They're also residential buildings that people rent. So, you know. So maybe uh, maybe their politics prevent them from having sex. In Cross Bay Boulevard in Queens, 56 complaints were logged. Right? That's strange. Cross Bay Boulevard. Yeah. Crossway Boulevard is going, if you take that, you go out to what the Rockaways. Yeah, where the bird sanctuary is out there. You can 
there's like uh there's like one of these uh re reserved places out there with birds many years ago I used to go out there you can look at different species of birds and so forth that's where Crossway Boulevard is go, going to White Howard Beach that's a lot of complaints 56 complaints were logged about hippies allegedly dressing up as Freddy Krueger Pennywise and the Easter Bunny while engaging in cordial revelry as the theme song of Velveteen Dream, a pro wrestler blasted in the background. They are still here causing a sex mayhem and neighbor complaint one day at 6 a.m. Thought it was too cold outside for an orgy party. Doesn't stop this guy. Another Queen's resident said, for the love of God, stop these sex addicts. Oh, to the R, to the G, to the Y. If you know how to spell and read, that is OG. In Greenwood Heights, Brooklyn, a resident said that they had slept through natural disasters, but their neighbors' activities were not keeping them up. To get a sense of how disruptive they are, I have slept through earthquakes and fires in my life. Mm. I couldn't sleep through this, the resident wrote last April in a complaint lodged at 2.45 a.m. Someone else reported that the she here makes the bed squeak as if it's an Olympic event. Another said, ceiling shaking and debris falling sights. Complaints obtained by Patch also reveal that New Yorkers have been involuntarily privy to bedroom narrations aligned with current events. On 23 December at 11 p.m., for one seasonal example, a resident in East Harlem in Manhattan said some guy is singing jingle balls at the top of his voice and another person is screaming yes daddy come down <laughs> come down my chimney last spring when the federal government distributed COVID-19 stimulus checks as part of the American Rescue Plan one Brooklyn resident complained at 12.49 a.m., loud banging and mourning. Heard the neighbors saying, how's this stimmy, baby? In a statement to Patch, a New York police spokesperson, Sophia Mason, said the NYPD took all quality of life complaints seriously. We will continue to monitor and address Oh, they open up they open up the comment section. So there it is. People who want to uh comment comment can do so. While the article is uh still there. Let's see here. Alright. 